everyone, this is your Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you with a tropical discussion video here on this uh, Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Uh, last time we did this video, we were going into the end of September, and now we're in the month of October, where, you know, the second half of the peak of this hurricane season is here. And today we're going to be talking about uh, Philippe, obviously, and this has been something that we've been following up with the last few weeks, and this has been a forecasted mystery, um, really to try to pinpoint what's happening with this storm. Um, since Friday, and since we haven't done a video in the last couple of days, you know, I do apologize for not doing the video on Monday, and then Friday I just gave you, um, an update on the community discussion board here on YouTube. So, um, since the last video, uh, Philippe has tracked nearly due west in the face of all forecasts, uh, leading it to affect much of the Leeward Islands with flooding rains overnight last night into today. Uh, these flooding rains are now headed for the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. And, as of this video, uh, Philippe is very disorganized with much of the heavy showers and thunderstorms pushed to the southeast. And you can see that right here. You can see, uh, you see these yellows over here? That's lightning right there. So um, it is pushed to the southeast of the low level center and this organized look of the storm is likely to continue for the time being, which should keep Philippe as barely a tropical storm. Now, with that being said, Philippe is, is expected to continue to produce heavy rains uh, to the northern windward islands and all of the leeward islands uh, throughout the rest of today and all of tonight, and in particular, the islands of Antigua, Barbuda, uh, Guadalupe, and Dominica, they're going to continue to be hit very hard with rain fall amounts of 5 to 10 inches likely. And the rest of the Leeward Islands and uh, northern uh, Windward Islands are expected to receive total rainfall amounts of 4 to, in, four to 8 inches. And this means that flash flooding with mudslides are very, are very likely across the Leeward Islands and uh, the Northern Windward Islands um, over the next day or so. Now, locally, heavy rainfall is expected to spread across the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico this afternoon and continue through tonight and into tomorrow. Rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are, ex are expected, and once... Philippe uh, finally uh, moves away from the Northeastern Caribbean. So we're going to get into our uh, guidance models as what we see here in this video. And you can see right here, uh, this is where uh, Philippe is right now. And you can see what I'm talking about. Um, once it moves away from uh, the Northern Caribbean later Wednesday into Thursday, this is where it could be a um, tropical storm threat to the island of Bermuda at the very end of the week. So Bermuda, um, let's see if we can find it right here. Um, you, you see where my mouse is? This is where Bermuda is. And uh, model guidance has been trending westward with the forecast track of the storm over the last 24 hours or so. And just 24, 48 hours ago, um, and I'm going to show you the difference here with the models here. So this is what's been happening. It's got Philippe right here. And uh, let, me, let me show you, I'll give you Sunday around this time. This is, for, remember, Philippe, this was Philippe right here. Look what was expected to happen. It was supposed to uh, safely head out into the open Atlantic. Now, what is happening here, and let's get into this time frame right now. 
Um, what is the reason behind this storm? Well, let's try to get into an, um, get into the circulation here. Let's get into the 500 um, millibars. That's not it. Yeah, this is... I might as well show you this. Uh, why is the storm being pulled northward? Well, the reason for that is you got this developing upper level trough of low pressure that's going to be heading eastward towards uh, the Great Lakes. Um into the uh, northeastern United States late this week. And by the way, um, this is where you're going to have your first shot of autumn air uh, for most of the United States. So um, this potentially means that Philippe may pass very close to or right over Bermuda on Friday, and then the storm directly impacting Atlantic Canada and parts of eastern New England this week. Now, this is not going to be like what we saw here where um, the storm that we just had recently. Um, I What was it? Ophelia? Um, I, Lee, Lee, Lee. My, my mistake, my mistake. You know, I had a little bit of a brain fart here. But you can see right here uh, later on Sunday... This is where the storm is. Um, and one thing that we're going to have to keep an eye on is whether there are any additional westward ships in the forecast track of Philippe in the coming days. But for now, though, those of you on the island of Bermuda uh, should keep... Uh, Close tabs on Philippe as it now looks like it's going to bring you tropical storm force winds and heavy rain on Friday. And additionally, for people that live in uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Maine, you got to keep close tabs on the progress of Philippe because it will bring in some gusty winds and, more importantly, heavy rain and flooding this weekend. Um, the rest of New England. Uh, you should also keep tabs on the interaction between uh, Philippe and that upper level trough because, yeah, um, another uh, weekend of heavy rain and flooding. And um, very interesting stat. Um, ever since June um, of this year, we've had rain on the weekends. And that streak will more than likely continue. As well. So, by the way, um, I want to show you the um, the zero Z European as well, and this is where you are with this storm, and this is what the European um, is indicating. It's still with the same um, notion of what the GFS is, and you can see that uh, trough right over here that's in the Great Lakes. So let me. Uh, Rewind this here um, and just show you what uh, National Hurricane Center is saying about Tropical Storm Philippe. Um, right now, moving northwest at um, 10 miles per hour. Massive sustained winds are at 45 miles per hour, 18.9 north, 63.9 west. It will be a tropical storm. And then by the time we get into Sunday, this will probably be like a nor'easter type system. Um, coming up into uh, Atlantic Canada. So, um, meanwhile, let's get into uh, other things that are going to be happening in the tropics. Um, we might have some possi possible um, mischief in the area around the Western Caribbean, uh, the southern Gulf of Mexico, and the southwest North Atlantic uh, starting next week. So, um, I will say uh, just forget about this um, week two because we're already there. We were we were talking about this over here, a possible storm uh, over here, and then 
another one, but I want to put my attention to um, October 11th through uh, the 17th here. Um, uh, since uh, we have no new tropical development, um, at least um, into for at least the next week, I do think that we're going to have to turn our attention uh, to the area around the Western Caribbean, uh, the southern Gulf of Mexico, and the uh, southwestern North Atlantic um, for the possibility of tropical mischief. Now, the trigger for this possible development, um, it's going to be a stalled front frontal boundary that's going to be draped from uh, the Gulf of Mexico. So let me see where we are, and I want to show you the GFS here. So... Um, where are we here? Yeah, so this is where I want to be. Um, you have a frontal boundary, and um, it, like I said, it's going to be great from the Gulf of Mexico eastward to the southwestern Atlantic. So um, let's show you that right here, and um, also the possibility of a tropical system. In the Eastern Pacific. And that's what the GFS. Um, is indicating. Now what's happening here. Is that. This tropical system. Right here. Is going to cross over. Into either the Bay of Campani. Or the Western Caribbean. Now you can see over here. Um, there is another. Um, Cop Verde system. I, I don't buy this. By the way people. Um. Let me get, you see what it's trying to do? This comfort system trying to go in right here. Um, and that's what the model guidances have been hinting um, about. Now, let's see what the GFS, uh, the European, is going with. Um, see, you got that system right over here, but... But yeah, this is definitely a place to watch for tropical development um, next week and more likely the following week. Um, and climatology, um, this is the area um, that we need to watch during the month of October because um, these areas right here. Because any tropical system that does try to develop uh, would more than likely uh, be pulled north or northeastward into the eastern Gulf of Mexico across the Florida Peninsula and then near the southeastern United States coast. And it's something that I'm going to be watching closely and um, we'll have updated updates as needed. So I just want to show you that one more time. This is the area that we're going to have to be watching going into October. All right, so uh, the next uh, weather discussion... Uh, will be issued tomorrow afternoon. Uh, let's, uh, we will keep tracking Philippe. Um, we might do a video on that, um, but yeah. So enjoy. If you only watch my weather videos, um, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I'll be back later today with other topics on this YouTube channel. Bye for now, my friends. <laughs>